Hello, today we will be taking another look at the M3D Crane Quad 3D printer. So first of all, these pawns represent definitely a challenge. Um, you can see they're hairy. Um, quite a bit of excessive stringing from one piece to the next. I've been experimenting with my retraction settings in the voxelizer program, but I'm not entirely convinced that they're completely implemented. This particular test, this is actually 15 to 20 percent black going up through blue and into magenta at the top. I should say that voxelizer does not currently support a true vase mode. Similar experiment, I wanted to see if I could print metallic silk filaments. Um, I've had challenges printing, um, these are PLA based, but they have an additive that gives them a metallic kind of surfacing. But it's proof that the, the quad can actually print um, PLA silk material. With my frustration with voxelizer, I also tried to do uh, some prints using Slicer. Uh, this is the Prusa Edition Slicer. I was actually pleasantly surprised that with just a little bit of coaxing I was able to get this to turn properly. I will note that the outside kind of brownish colored ring, rosy brown, whatever, anyway that is actually the waste tower for this particular piece. Okay so another print. Um, this is a three-quarter rendering of the chromatic split vase by Devon at Make Anything. And again, you can see that there's still issues with the retractions as it goes from one color to the next. Not quite the quality that I was hoping for. I attempted um, to do the same model using Slicer Prusa Edition. Unfortunately, this is one where, as it was printing, the black stopped extruding and I had to stop the print. At that point, I noticed that there was quite a bit of heat on the small motors that drive the extruder and um, actually became the inspiration for a modification that I'll get into momentarily. So one of the things that I noticed while printing is these little motors tend to get pretty hot. They actually get uncomfortably warm to the touch. So I came up with this little modification that is it attaches to the top of the extruder assembly and allows me to install a small fan. Now this fan, uh, Noctua fan, currently is just um, kind of piggybacked on there. It's attached to the um, extruder fine, but right now I just have it wired independently. It's not going back into the motherboard. Um, I will probably deal with that when I add a BL touch to this printer in the next few days. Um, I find that this little addition, this small amount of airflow coming from this fan really makes a big difference with these. Um, and I've actually tested that with a small handheld thermometer. Um, so something I would highly recommend. Overall, I think the M3D Crane has tremendous potential. The quad print head is elegant, light, and functional. But that compact design comes at a price in that the parts are small and a bit fiddly to work with. I think the machine in its currently state is really suited for people who have previous experience with 3D printing and have proficiency to work through technical challenges. I would not at this point recommend this machine to someone who is new to 3D printing who has never owned another machine. I think that the technical challenges could make for a frustrating user experience. For someone who is technically inclined and interested in experimenting with color and material combinations not possible on most other machines, the M3D Crane Quad may prove to be a very rewarding machine. If you find this video informative and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. In addition to continuing to post videos about the M3D Crane Quad, voxelizer, and color printing, I may post videos about my chess set and other designs that I've produced, 
and may make available in the near future. If these are the kinds of things that you find interesting, or if there are other things you would like to see me post, please comment below. For now, keep printing and keep your filament dry.